Yo, 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 this is your boy Johnny Wild, and today I wanted to talk about the ups and downs of growth and how they relate to muscle building. So when you lift weights, you PR in the gym, you set a personal record, and you know you push more than you've ever pushed, you lift more than you've ever lifted, and your body gets tired and it gets exhausted and it needs to rest. That makes sense, right? Seems pretty obvious. Well, the same thing with your spiritual or energetic growth, okay? It goes in PRs, personal records, peaks, and then you have to dip down and rest as your nervous system rebuilds itself to a more high-functioning, high-power nervous system. Um, so the interesting thing about, you know, nervous system building or, you know, becoming more spiritual, I like to call it nervous system building, is that... Um, we like to form identities around ourselves as being spiritual, just like um, someone might like to build an identity around being really strong in the gym. But I'm going to tell you where this becomes corrupt at a certain point, because it's like, if you have an identity around being strong in the gym, right? You're just like lifting weights and setting PRs and shit. And then you go home and you need to rest and you feel weaker later in the day. You know, are you going to sit there and be like, oh, I can't believe I feel this weak. Uh, like, I can't believe this. can't believe I feel this weak right now. Like, this is, this is bullshit. I'm strong. I'm a strong guy, right? Like, well, like, that's probably not going to happen because, like, it's so obvious that because you lifted all that weight and ripped your muscles up and shit, you need to rest and you're going to feel weak and be, be able to, like, barely go up the goddamn stairs, right? Um, but in spirituality, it's not quite so obvious to people nervous system building, inner development, it's not quite so obvious to people that this is the case. Um, so you do something energetically really intense. You lean into a fear. Um, you go and talk to that girl, try to get that promotion. You're working on your business. You know, you're doing like a lot of energy work and meditation and stuff. And your nervous system gets toasted. And later you're feeling small. You're feeling scared. You feel like you can't do anything. You feel like you can't even move. You, you, you get, you know, basically depressed, your nervous system depresses itself. So it can go into a state of deep rest and help you recover. And, uh, but the problem is, you know, often if you're into self-help and development, you're trying to become someone who, you know, is like this badass. He's not affected by anything. He's always like compassionate. He's always loving. He's always giving value. You know, he's just like a bright guy. Right. And then you get into this low state. Um, that you've been working to get out of and you're like depressed and you're like, Oh, what the fuck? And then you resist it. And then comes in like the self attack and you're like, what's wrong with you? Like, there's just something wrong with you. Why aren't you better? It's always going to be like this. And it's because it's not so obvious that the depression cycles that follow you really pushing yourself energetically, spiritually, uh, internally, whatever you want to call it. It's not quite so obvious that this depression is coming from a need for deep rest, but it is. And what happens when you start to self-attack like that, not understanding that your body and your mind and your spirit just needs rest um, to recover and grow stronger, what happens is, you know, because we don't know that, it needs that, like we self-attack and then we prolong the depression. We self-attack and we keep and we self-attack and we make our energy field and we keep collapsing and we're like... <sighs> why are you like this? Why are you like this? And it collapses. It makes you feel small, makes you feel small, like rigidifies that pressure, that tension in your gut. And, um, so my thing for the day that I wanted to express to you is when you start feeling small, when you go through a downer pendulation on this up and down process, right. Of, uh, of spiritual growth. Um, when you get down like that, don't judge yourself from the standard, um, that, you were operating in under your peak, under your energetic peak. You need to bring a different relationship to yourself um, when you're tired and depressed like that uh, and use a different sort of energy relating with yourself and helping yourself than you would if you're peaking. If you're like high energy, you could use anger and ramp yourself up and be like, come on, come on, we got this, come on. But like if you're real small and you like try to do that, like that's not going to work. That's just going to make uh, the small self collapse more. So what you want to do in the small self is like be as tender as possible, you know, treat it like a, your child, um, your inner child, treat it like it was your own child and it's scared and it's tired and it just wants to rest and get under the blankie and and support it in doing that. Be really tender. And just don't judge yourself at your smallest to the same standard yourself at your biggest. Okay, I just wanted to, just wanted to say that. So...
audio may have messed up at the very end. We'll see what happens here. But um, but yeah, if you have any comments about this, it's sort of nuanced, um, but really important. And if you have any comments about this, likes, questions, anything like that, um, and share it to people who might be interested for sure, um, reach out, do all those things. Out.